So what we're going to do now is we're going to record this video um, explaining how to move. So if we look at our map, we have three rooms. The start point, which is the front of the house. From the front of the house, we can go to the back of the house, and back to the front of the house. And from the front of the house, we can go to the house entrance. So the way we're going to do this, making sure we are on Python 3, we're going to create functions for each room. So I'll type in def and then the name of the place. So to confirm, we have the front of the house. So we're just going to call it front of house. Open bracket, close bracket, colon. And then you press enter. And on the new line, as you can see, it's not, well, it's been tabbed in from some spaces. Let's just do print. I am in front of the house. Okay, so the next place we've got is back of the house. So def back of house. So again, open bracket, close bracket, colon, enter, print. I am behind the house. And the last location was house entrance. So def house entrance, open bracket, close bracket, colon, enter, print. I am inside the house. It's back at the point. Okay. So the first room is front of house. So we just type in the name of this func this procedure, not function, procedure. So front of house, open bracket, close bracket. And we run, and as you can see, I am in front of the house because it runs this line of code. So it looks down, it finds line 10, and then it jumps up to line one, and then line two, and it does this, and it's done. So I am in front of the house, so we want to explain to the player where they can go. So you can enter the house or you can go around the back. Maybe where do you want to go? And then, so, yeah, so we print these three questions, or these three statements out. This is just a simple way of doing it. So yeah, in front of the house, you can enter the house and go around the back. Where do you want to go? And then we use a variable. So I'll just call it choice. It doesn't really matter, but choice is just logical. So choice equals input. Um, and then just because I like it to look like that and it looks prettier, I can do it like that. What this will do is, as you can see now, it does this little thing there. And I think that looks pretty. So we ask them answer this question and we save the answer in choice. So if we enter the house, so let's go with if the word enter is in choice. So if the word enter is in the thing that they've typed, then we want to go to house entrance. So house entrance, no colon. So let's test that out. So it's really a good idea to test and make sure it works. So run, where do you want to go? Enter the house. Great. That works, I am inside the house. Because the word enter was here. Um, so that's great. So if enter, then go to house entrance. If elif, so else if. So for back of the house, let's go, the key word is gonna be back. If back in choice, back of house. Okay, and again, let's test this out. Um, where do you wanna go? I want to go to the back of the house. Great. It understands, it finds the word back and I am behind the house. It calls this procedure. So if enter is in choice, do this. If back is in choice, do this. Else, if neither of them, if none of these things are true, then what we're going to do is say print, I do not understand. Sad face. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to call it again. So front of house. Great. So this should, if we type in something that does not say enter or does not say back, then it should say, I do not understand. And it loads again. So let's test that out. That's my theory. Let's see if it works. So run. 
Why do you want to go? I want to go to school. I do not understand some unhappy face. And then, as you can see, it runs it again. I want to go to McDonald's. Nope, I do not understand. I want to enter the house. And it works. So again, I want to go to the back of the house to see what there is to see. Enter, I am behind the house. So yeah, so using these if statements, my battery's going to die. Um, using these if statements combined with calling like this. So yeah, so the key point, look at your map, create procedures. And you're typing def and then the name, so school, open bracket, close bracket, colon, press enter, and print, I am in school. It's good to do that because it's just a placeholder because then you know for sure that you're in this thing. So yeah, do this.